Okay, so let's take a look at Sweden's vaccine rollout numbers. <laughs> all right all right i'm uh hey python's good stuff python's definitely good stuff bash of course yeah so have you, have you tried using your python for like data analytics or data science yet sweden's vaccine rollout report we can see here that Sweden has administered 16.6 6 million doses. And, uh, and on December 12th, they had, they had, uh, they had, uh, they had uh, what, 6 point, 6 point, what do we got there? Okay, okay, yeah. Well, I'm sure you know that uh, pandas, do you, do you use pandas? So you can see here that, uh, okay, falcon. What's uh, uh, what's the falcon package for? Is it for, is it for uh, plotting or is it for analysis? What's it for? I'm not familiar with that. And you can you can see here that uh, so far uh, seventy six point six million people no no seven point six six million people have have received the single dose shot. Falcon is for SQL on graphs. Okay, all right. Now I can't remember. Do you, is, is this for a job or just something you do on your own, or both? And you can see that. Uh, hmm, that's interesting. Oh, okay. Are you a uh, CCSE? And we can see here that uh, 7.2 million, 7.3 million have received, uh, have been fully vaccinated. Now for Sweden, that, what this gives us, this gives us a 75.4% uh, single shot vaccination rate for uh, Sweden. And a 71.4% full vaccination rate. Is that is that the first level of uh, certification for Cisco? Third, okay. So and it, <clears throat> that's pretty good. I mean, that's that's pretty impressive. CCIE is is fourth. Yeah. Are you working on the CCIE? They <laughs> It used to be CCSC, okay, but they retarded. So are you, are you, you know, I must say that's that's pretty doggone a job to reach to reach the the third level certification. Uh, 
back when I got into computers back in the late 90s, early 2000s, you know, Cisco was one of, was one of the hottest certifications out there. Yeah, like yeah, but uh, back in the late 90s, 2000s, during the first tech bubble. The, So are these other certifications, or are, are these still, are they, uh, I might have gotten that acronym wrong. It's been a while. <laughs> okay. uh, so what, what's the first level? Is it CCNA? CCENT. Then CCNA. Hmm. Oh, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. So how long you been how long you been uh, working in uh, networking? Okay, let's run the numbers for Sweden now. Sneaker net, okay, I give up. What's what's sneaker net? Two thousand and one. So, how, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? Because you're working back in two thousand and one. You're at least twenty-one years old, right? <laughs> Let's take a look at Sweden's uh, uh, cases by year. <laughs> no, uh, no internet, huh? <laughs> uh, you're 41. Okay, you're 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 40. You're about 20 years under me, but 41. I, I kind of wondered about that. Yeah. <clears throat> Some of your certifications gave away your age. I'm there. Give me give me that kind of wondering. Yeah. So what you can see here is that. Uh, What we can see here for for Sweden is the 2020 cases for Sweden have passed 2020 cases. But here's the good news for Sweden. Um, you know, my uh, my brother told me once that I said I don't want to say you're getting old. But not only, not only were you born in the last century, you were also born in the last millennium. Because, was, because we were all born in the 50s, so I was, I was born in the last century and the last millennium.
Yeah, here's the good news for Sweden. Uh, 2021 COVID-19 deaths for Sweden will not catch the 2020 numbers. Okay. Now the thing that's kind of interesting about Sweden is though, it, it, it doesn't always affect doesn't really affect the number. Just when it's curious, you see how kind of the number kind of spread out here during the second half of the summer. That's because somewhere around in the midsummer, they went from a seven-day reporting cycle to a four-day reporting cycle, which means only only recording COVID-19 data Tuesday to Friday, which means that Tuesday includes Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday numbers, which is what these spikes here. So the only thing we can really determine with this is we don't really know what the daily numbers are for the missing dates. All we can do is look here at this at this trend line. Trend line shows a declining pattern here. You can see this declining pattern here. You can see this long declining pattern in the spring and summer, the, the July hiccup here. But now here's, here's, here's what's a little troubling. We're starting to see the cases trending back up uh, for Sweden, okay? And you can, and you can, on, a, uh, on a 14 day moving average, you can also see the spike back up here, okay? Before falling all the way back down to here, the previous two weeks. Now what about deaths? This nice kind of roller coaster ride of death for deaths in Sweden continuing to decline down, okay? And you can see here that right now Sweden's averaging about, for 14, the 14 day average is like 2.9 deaths per day. Let's take a look at the uh, monthly numbers now. You can see Sweden's cases are pretty doggone low. Uh, this is 25,000, so this is maybe 30,000. So they're, the deaths have been pretty low compared to back over here for the previous, what, six months? And what about deaths? Well, look how, look how crazy Sweden's deaths are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven months in a row, Sweden had a decline in COVID-19 deaths. A slight hiccup, and now you can see there's a very good chance that December is going to be the third month in a row, Sweden's going to see a decline in COVID-19 deaths, okay? So that concludes the numbers for Sweden for today. That leaves one report to do, and that is the U.S. I would appreciate, for, uh, I would appreciate it, uh, Kunda, if, if you would maybe click that follow button for me and invite 10 of your friends to join the tweet. It's a stream. <laughs> but no, but uh, I really appreciate that follow button. Okay, now it's time to, oops, let's come back over here.